Oh, hey. Um, give me one sec, Jim. I'm trying to get this open. You're the one with the 10 p.m. appointment, right? Yeah, sleep appointment. Yeah. I'm guessing you didn't want to pay. The, uh, what are they charging now? 20,000 credits, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll only charge you a few hundred. Um, it's one of those. We use the same technology, kind of. Just their lab's a little bit more flashy than this one. Uh, well, I say lab. This is just kind of a back bedroom kind of thing, but, you know. You're all going to sleep eventually, right? It's a sleep clinic. I've still got my license, you saw that when you came in. And just can't work without a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. So, first things first, I've got to make sure you're all safe. Maybe back alley what we like to keep our patrons. Oh how should we say it? People safe while they sleep. So I'm just gonna ask you to just sit back, relax, and I am going to take you through all the things you will need to get a nice deep sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in this day and age with technology, the way it is, your brain gets all, how do I put this, frazzled and the way that sleep clinics, big, small, you know, every size, they have to defrazzle the brain. Now, the way I do it is with a particular set of lights. Now, I'm just going to have to go over a few quick things with you, give you a bit of a check over first to make sure you're healthy enough. Because I'm virtually messing with your brain. So it is, I've got to make sure you're okay, I don't want you falling into a deep, deep sleep, that would be a bit, hmm, that would be called a coma, and crap, and we don't want that, because this is not a hospital, it's a clinic. Now, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using different lights to deprogram your brain to let you get some sleep. Now, when I send you home after this, we're going to give you a video that will allow you to take these lights home with you. Now, what we say is about a week of constant use um, using this video, and nothing else before bed. You must as soon as it's finished, everything must go off. Now, technology is a beautiful thing, but every time you look at it, you're looking at flashy lights and different things, and sometimes they can be relaxing, and then you've got the big action movies with the big bright oranges and all of that. Now, when you look at these lights, you will see a different how do I put it? Gradient of colour. Now that gradient of colour will, in a sense, help you relax. But to then add anything else to that gradient would cause the effect not to work. And you would need deeper and um, more intense therapy, which I don't 
deal with. You'd have to go up to the expensive places. And we don't want you spending that type of money now, do we? So, first of all, if you don't mind, I'm going to listen to your heart. Okay? Right then. No, yeah, just sit there, just relax. Okay, take a deep breath in for me. And out. Okay, and another deep breath in for me. In. And hold. And out. Okay, that's brilliant. And then one more deep breath in for me. In. And out. That's brilliant. Your heart sounds absolutely fine. Yeah, that's what you do as a job. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm guessing your work can be very stressful as well. Mm-hmm. Well, I can guarantee On this, you can be very highly chance of being relaxed. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just scanning the general area to get an idea of how relaxed the colour gradient is. So now I want you to sit back, relax your cell phones, turned off, correct? Brilliant. We're going to let you sleep for a good seven, eight hours before we, we, we will bring you round to using the light again. Okay? First of all, I'm going to start with Okay, and I just want you to follow the light. What I'll do is I'll get you to do some exercise as well. That'll help in the relaxation. Okay. So just look at my nose for me. Okay, and then tell me when it goes out of your vision so I can also get a kind of how your periphery works.
you should start feeling the relaxation effect start to take hold as you drift you feel the light drifting you into that soft lull that's why we have the grey that's why I'm wearing grey to help relax that's one thing I don't like about the larger clinics because they have such a fascination with white and thinking that white's relaxing personally I find it too clinical I help find grey relaxes it helps calm as you don't want to relax in a hospital or in a lap you, you want to be able to relax somewhere and calm and relaxing he says that because he's got grey all around which some people won't find relaxing but some do I find it relaxing I like that black it gives a nice relaxing and white for me feels too clinical too clean I'm just going to switch over. I bought this piece of tech recently. I think it's really nice. You know how you tell if you're starting to fall to sleep? Because you won't be able to tell how many lights are on on this wand. All you'll see is a big blob of light. That's how you know you're starting to feel sleepy. How you're starting to feel tired and relaxed. Start to feel a relaxed feeling. Okay, and follow it down for me. Such a, a pretty nice lollipop forms. 
I don't change buying them from the uh, the Federation store. And I thought they changed a bit too clinical. So I bought this one of the Candyman. Hmm. And I must admit, it's rather tasty. And keep this between ourselves, right? Mm. I'll knock some money off for you. Mm -hmm. If you wonder why I keep stopping it, to let your eyes, your eyes go through a certain set of motions when we try and reprogram them. So what we do is by letting the light stop, let your eyes slowly and just take. So I move this too quickly. Her eyes wouldn't be able to adjust. Say now, just tilt your head back. That light should do its work in a few minutes, and you should be relaxed and off to sleep. So I'm going to say night. night. I'm going to go into the other room and close the door. If you do manage to wake up, just come through, and we'll sort out the bill. Okay. Anyway, have a very, very nice. I hope if you need to, you come back to us. Sweet dreams. Good night.